All right, guys, we are at the Melbourne Card Fair. Uh, it's going to be my very first time setting up as a dealer. So I think it's going to give you guys an interesting perspective. Uh, I've been quite keen and excited to get this along for you guys as well. We've been planning it for a while as well in terms of setting up and pricing everything. So it's been a tedious process. So let's hope we get some sales and have a good day. We've already got the uh, girlfriend hard at work here. <laughs> putting her organizational skills into helping set up. Let's see the finished product after this. All right, little sneak peek for people out there that are wanting to see what's on the showcase. I think we've got some nice variety. I didn't bring everything, um, but yeah, got some nice variety here. In terms of the bargain boxes, just made out some $3 ones, $5 ones, $10 ones, and $20 ones as well as some slabs. So got some variety here. I actually could have utilized a bit more space, but didn't really know what I could use or how big the actual space was but yeah how much are you going to sell today hopefully everything so you can pay for my wedding give me a number <laughs> um 780 i'm going to come up with a separate video just highlighting how much we've sold what went well on the show so i'm not going to put that in this video but yeah stay tuned for that one as well how's your ebay store been going you've been getting a lot of sales yeah it's good i do a lot, like a lot better on my commit to your stuff yeah that's why I'm the same. I like I like this sort of mid mid, mid end stuff because it's it's easier. Like maybe nothing under ten dollars, but ten to a hundred, it's easy to list. It's worth it. Yeah. It moves better in Australia than the high end stuff. I'd rather just send to America because they've got money for it. Like I can't. If I sell if I sell three or four cards from this showcase, I reckon I'd. I'd be surprised. Is it consigning? Yeah. So with consigning, I. I always tell people the same thing, like, you have to understand the risk, because it's an auction, obviously. Um, so, obviously they have the audience, but you're going to have cards that go over cons, you're going to have cards that go at cons, you're going to have cards that go unders. I would probably not send in any card under $5, because their fees for cards under $5 are actually a little bit higher. Um, and I, I just don't think it's, yeah. If you're sending like a $2 card, you'll get like, 70, 80 cents back. It's like, it's not worth it. So I, I'd send in like your mid-tier cards, send in cards that you think are hot. So, you know, NFL season's coming up, like your Trevor Lawrence, like I, if it doesn't sell today, I'm going to send in Jokic and I'll probably send in that one as well, just because they're both, um, like he's going to be hot leading to the NFL season and then Jokic just won the championship. So I just don't think it's going to sell here in Australia. Um, so I, I think America, they'll pay for it. Like there's one ending on auction today. Whatever that goes for, I'm just going to send it to America and hope it gets, yeah. Do you reckon the 49ers will just trade Trey Lance? <laughs> Can you get much for him? I don't know. It seems like every team's pretty settled at quarterback like. Man, that's great. Let's pick, th pick three he was, yeah? Pick two? Pick three. Trade a lot for three him. Future firsts? Yeah. And I, I back in the 49ers front office. Like, I feel like they're always quite... I feel like you guys are quite good with your decisions, but... Brock Purdy just fell in the lap and he seems to play... So he, better in the system for Carl Shanahan. Does Purdy, like his he's, uh, Tommy John surgery, is, that, is he already recovered from it? Yeah, he's, okay. back, he's back from it. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. I haven't followed the off season at all, so. Like they thought maybe week one or week two and then he got cleared two weeks ago? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that PC? I've got, I've got like two, three of them. <laughs> Where's he at? He's a cold starter. Or well, suppose do? suppose it's started until Anthony Richardson um, develops a bit more. Yeah, so they. Yeah, I haven't followed any of that at the moment, but um, I'm keen. I hope Gardner does well. Like he's, I can I can support him. So he'll be on a very short leash, though. Yeah, he will for sure. That's and that's the annoying thing as well. So. Like the footage of like, just Anthony Richardson, some of the throws he's making in practice already. And just like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Great. Yeah, I, I do remember this, yes. Jordan Love, because I only have like two or three Jordan Love cards, so I do remember. Yeah. I mean, uh, Are you I'm big on him this season? Oh. Uh, well, I go, for the, I go for the Texans, I got, so. I got about 60 freaking cards of him. I, uh, I had some stuff, and I'm like, oh, I probably would go on the $3 pile, <laughs> but yeah. I don't think anyone wants David, David Smills. Don't worry, I bought uh, Zach Wilson stuff for like six, seven hundred dollars and they're worth like $100 now, so. Clarin cards, check him out. Here you go, hold a LeBron autograph in your hand. <laughs> Trey Young autos, yeah, they're being shilled at the moment. It's 
crazy. I, don't, I can't even watch that. Anymore, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go near it. Jar Jaren was getting shilled yeah, as well. Yeah, I saw you said that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't touch Jaren or Trey at the moment, just because it's it's annoying. Like, oh, if you want to sell something, like, I can't buy any of this stuff. Yeah. How low do you want to go on that to get rid of that thumb? Fifteen bucks. Hey, we were both prospecting him. Uh, so I, I, now I just buy him just as a as a like, mistake. Just as just as like I can get really good cut. I missed out. You'd be surprised. Thank you. I missed out on a lot of new age. Many six US and went for it and had four n numbered rookie oh, tickets. Have for free. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, have for free. It's fine. Cheers, yeah. You. Had four numbered rookie ticket autos. Yeah. And like, Three other base rookie, rookie ticket boys, like yeah. 26 USD. Yeah. It's me and Usman Garuba at the moment. Usman Garuba and me, like, we're hating each other. So now, now it's just, just more like a, like a, yeah, I find it hard and he's really like, cheap. yeah. Hey, he's gonna change the face of the Boston Fury He's bringing them a championship. Thank you. He's, he's the piece. He's the, he's the piece they need. We're gonna do a live guess the price from McLaren cards. Oh god, I'm no good at high end. Yeah, right, I'll go. I'll let you have a look at it first. Do you want to? You want to have a look? I saw it. I saw the price, and I, I was like, yeah, it seems pretty good. Okay. But then trying to find a comfort is tough. Are you guys in first? Right, I'll go. Well, you're going to get change your answer based <laughs> on what I say, though. Oh, you go first. Um, three thousand five hundred. I'll go sixteen hundred. She actually might be closer. Well, I pay thousand bucks. Wow. Jeez. But an SGC 95 yeah. in May did 10.50. Yeah. So it's like half, right? Yeah, nice. So shout out to Cardboard Magic. He's given me, given me a 19, 1990 Fleer to, to bust open. Never actually ripped open these wax packs, but I used to get these in like, I used to look for these in like the singles boxes when I was younger. Pay like 50 cents per card. Rodney McRae, Glenn Rice, very solid player. Steve Kerr, we have the uh, Golden State coach. Jerome Kersey, Magic Johnson, oh, there we go. very nice. Craig Hodges, Kevin Johnson, KJ. Johnny Newman, no clue. Vinny Johnson, Ooh. Larry Bird. Fleer All Stars, insert. Patrick Ewing, Kevin Johnson, two in a row. Oop. Vinny Johnson again. And Johnny Newman. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate it. All right, let's go through my pickups from the Melbourne card fair. So, first, I've got this nice little lot deal from a man, Dion. Uh, first up, the Darius Morris. Lakers one of one crusade. Uh, that one was $20. Next up, the Shaquille O'Neal select game worn jersey. This one was. $10 and then last up the Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, this is a numbered rookie card for $5, but the total lot price of it ended up being down to $30 from $35. Next up, some AFL purchases here. A couple of Angus Sheldrick's copper signatures for $25 each. He played very well this season for the Swans. Uh, next up, Jai Amos gold signature. I think the copper actually goes for around this price, so $75 for a gold signature I'm very happy with. Next up, shout out to my man Ash from Shiny Card Traders. He hit me up and said, uh, look, if you want to flip and make some money, I'm going to sell you this nice little lot here. So he offered this to me for $50, a Will Hughes Orange Prism to 25 I don't even know who he is in all honesty, and a Trey Young Optic Choice uh, PSA 9 here. And I think the going rate for these are over the total lot price that he's given it to me for. Next up, a trade that I did, got the Malaki Branham Ruby as well as the Trey Murphy Optic Contenders Autograph for my Herb Jones Blue Prism SUC 9 plus $50. Picked up some more Sam Taylor Future Force signatures. I've said it in the past before, but I think he is going to be the best fullback for the next five years. Also picked up a Todd Marshall Future Force signature for $25. He's come on very well for the power this season, kicking a ton of goals. And also got this Terrace Marshall National Treasures Auto for $40. Also had a couple people give me some cards to add to the PC for free. Uh, 
I think this guy's name was John. If I'm wrong, please comment down below. Uh, I really do apologize for not remembering your name, but he gave me some Dustin Martin cards to add to the PC. I really do appreciate it. And lastly, my man, Scott, aka Surly Sports Cards. He also has a YouTube channel, so go check him out. But he also gave me some Houston cards. Nice Ralph Sampson autograph and some other cards like the Jalen Green Optic. The Dylan Brooks Green Prism, the Daniel House autograph, and the Hakeem Olajuwon Skybox card. All right, guys, wrapping up after the Melbourne Card Fair. Had a lot of fun, made a lot of deals, and obviously caught up with a lot of you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video in terms of how much I've made, just to be a little bit transparent with you guys, uh, anything I felt like I could improve on, uh, and what, what, what went well at the Car Melbourne Card Fair from my dealer's perspective. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, wrapping it up, guys. Uh, appreciate it as always, and I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.